my family in Christ Jesus, my brothers and sisters. I, uh, I've been up a lot of the night, and uh, we're in a spiritual warfare. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I feel like I walked from Alaska to Florida with no shoes on through glass. But Jesus is with me all the way. And I wanted to come on here today, and I said, you know, Jesus, I know you want me to go on. You, you know, he convicts me, make a video, make a video. And I says, where do you want me to go? What book? What verse? No, he says, just go on and talk. So I just, I'm, I'm coming on to talk. Listen, everybody's running around. It's the end times. It's the end times. It's the end times. And they're grabbing on to Jesus Christ. Good. That's a good thing. But now nobody knows the day nor the hour. Okay? It could be five minutes, five years, 50 years. Nobody knows. Yes, we see the signs. The Bible teaches us to see the signs. But it doesn't matter. That shouldn't be why you choose Jesus Christ. When is it going to be enough? When is it going to be enough? Make a choice. There's no gray area. There's two roads. You can't go to church on Sunday. You can't sin over and over and over and just, you know, combat. And I know the Bible. I know this verse. I know that verse. We all know over and over in the Bible it tells us, cast your fears on me, all your anxiety. Be still and know that I am God. In this world, you will have many troubles. Behold, I have overcome the, the world. But yet, all, 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 everybody bases their walk with Jesus on, on the world. What's going on in the world? When it was the, the war in Iraq with the Bush, you know, when cell phones came out, everybody wanted the flip Motorola, big shots. Next, Nextel came out, everybody wanted those. Now it's the iPhone. You get, you get, you get, you buy, you buy, you buy, and it's, ne it's never enough. You marry somebody when you're young, and then you age. And both of you start to look the other way at, at, at other men and other women. And you break up your families. Nobody has loyalty anymore. Nobody stands by what an oath means anymore. And I'm here to tell you that your walk with Jesus Christ shouldn't be based on because the end times are here. Shouldn't be based on if you're, let me tell you something, if your life is always smooth and you don't have a problem, which I find hard to believe, but if that's your life, then you better be concerned because that means you're walking with the evil one. Hallelujah. When you walk with Jesus, as he tells you, in this world, you will have many troubles, but behold, I have overcome the world. It's Righteousness. It's a joke. It's a joke. Who cares? Is he not bigger and bi than mere men? So you lost your car. So you lose in your house. I'm telling you to choose sides. Not based on the end times. He could come in five minutes, five years, or 50 years. Okay? You have to choose a side. There's two roads. You walk with Jesus with all your heart and soul. You give him your, all your heart and soul like he gave to you. His blood is on all of our hands. You walk with him with all your heart and soul through good times and bad times. And you walk in faith and faith alone. Or you go walk with that son of a bitch Satan. That's right. You want to call this a rant? You want to talk, call it a conversation? I could go in my Bible and I could keep reading you Bible verses. But I'm talking to you. We both read ble bleed red blood here. Okay? It's all over the internet, my life. My sins. my How I overcame. Everything that's happened to me. 
My ex-husband hitting me with a bat. My other ex-husband that's a rat in the witness protection program. Me being homeless. Me overcoming. My kids don't talk to me. They cut me out of their life because I, I love Jesus so much and I don't see my own grandchild. Time is precious. It's been seven months that I haven't seen her. I could go at any time. I feel bad because I don't know, even know if my son will have regrets. But that's not the point. The point is my walk, no matter what, is with Jesus Christ. No matter what. No matter if I have a, par, a, a crumb, a steak, a car, or a bike, or my two feet. No matter if it's the end times, the middle times, the beginning of times, it doesn't matter. You better choose. Choose the road you're going to walk on. Stop this. Stay in love with your sweetheart. Grow old together. Bring family back. You made an oath. Where's the loyalty? Where's, what, what happened to a handshake and people's word? Everybody will go around and say, this world sucks. There's no more uh, loyalty. You can, I remember the days when a handshake was a handshake. We all did it. We all did it. We all flocked to the Walmarts and the big box stores and we put out the little, the little guy. Go back to the little guy. You can't spend an extra $4 or $2 to keep your brother in business? Help thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. Don't just step over the homeless person and say, that's not me. Because that's you, his, that person's face could be your face. Now, one of you could tell me you're not a paycheck away from being homeless. And you're not in debt over your head. And again, if you're not and your life is smooth then your walk is with Satan. And then your trouble will come in eternity forever and ever and ever. So I just wanted to come on here and just have a talk, brother to sister, sister to brother, and tell you, when is it going to be enough? When are you going to love him just to love him? Not just to have things, not in, in good times, not because it's the end times, but to give your life to Jesus Christ, all of you, your heart, your body, and your soul. Doesn't he deserve that? He made you. Science didn't make you. There's no Hollywood. They're all, they're all sleeping around with everybody. They're lo they don't stay married. You're, you're looking up to, to losers. You're looking up to Satan. They're all demons. Yes. Yes, they are. And you want to save face and say, oh, I'm a Christian and we love everybody. We love the LGBT community and we love transgenders and we love gays and homosexuals. When your father said in the book, in Leviticus, in Romans, it's an abomination under his eyes. You'll sit there and gamble. You'll sit there and look at pornography. You'll lock your door and hide yourself in a room like God don't see you. So irregardless if it's the end times or not, you walk and make a choice. I made my choice years ago. And my walk is closer and closer with him. And I'm suffering more and more and more. But I love it. Bring it on, Satan. Bring it on. I'm owned and operated by Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Make your choice today, not based on if it's, at, if it's end times. That's a hypocrite. That's because you're scared and you don't want to be left behind. You may be here still another 20, 30, 40 years, five years, two years. And then soon all this will, you know, because it's not going to happen right away, it'll pass and everybody's going to go back. They're building a big mall in New Jersey, you know. The government is right now, it's, in, it's, it's, it's all a hype with the Republicans, the Democrats to cause division. 
I'm for this one. I'm for this one. I'm for that one. I'm for this one. No, be for Christ. Be for Jesus Christ and your Father God. That's it. That's it. Give your life over. Make the choice. There's two roads. You walk with Satan or you walk with Jesus. There's no in between. You can't have your one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom of heaven. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And if you owned a company or you have a wife or a husband and they had one, one, one hand and one foot into you and somebody and then another into you, what would you do? Would you put up with it? I, don't, I know I want 100% loyalty for, from whoever I, whatever I do and whoever I'm with. So I'm going to give 100% loyalty to, to, the, to my clay maker and Jesus Christ Almighty. Make a choice and don't make it because it's the end times. Make it because you love Jesus Christ and he loved you. He made you. He suffered. Your blood is on his hands. I mean, his blood is on your hands. His blood is on all of our hands. He's knocking at your heart, my brothers and sisters. Let him in. Or just turn your back and walk with Satan. Because you can't have it both ways. Don't talk both sides of your mouth. Don't come on my channel and debate with me and throw Bible verses at me. Walk the walk and talk the talk. That's it. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. I love you all. Make the choice. Make the right choice. He loves you. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. Nothing's ever as bad as you think it is when you have Jesus Christ. He's there all the time, all the time. You'll never be lonely when you have Jesus Christ. You'll never be broke. You'll never be hungry. That's all a game that demons play in your head. It's true. Love Jesus. Give him your heart today. Get on your knees, Barak. Not because it's the end times. Not because you're facing death. Not because you're losing your house and you're losing your car. Just because. Because he died for you. God bless America. Ciao.